In the Feldenkrais method, like movement is our entry point, right? It's it's but it's a bigger method than that. There's a more profound mindset shift where you're starting to focus more on the process and your intention for your movement. And that expands out into the rest of your life so that you start to become aware more of your habits and the process of your habits as opposed to this goal orientation. Sorry, I feel like a broken record. I keep talking about goal orientation, but that's such a big part, as you said before, about, you know, CrossFit and even, you know, my, my um, background in the music world. Like we tend, we live in a society that things are goal oriented. Like if we aren't succeeding, then we're failing in some way. Um, and it's so much more colorful than that. It's such a binary way of thinking. Uh, but if we can see beyond just black and white and see the whole spectrum of colors, then we're so much better for that. And that looking at the spectrum of colors means that um, going back to the process, you're looking at how well your process is working. That the goals just become a test of your process. And so if you fail in some way, then you can go back and you can reshape your process. And mm. in the Feldenkrais method, then, you know, that's, like I said, the entry point is movement. We're looking at how we're observing our movement and, and not judging the movement as in like, oh, you know, my elbow doesn't quite straighten and I'm a terrible person because my elbow doesn't straighten all the way. Instead of examining, you know, observing, saying my elbow doesn't straighten. So what is that? What does that feel like? And what other places in myself can I connect to the ability of my elbow to straighten or not straighten.